welcome to Stay Tripper Adventure. I've come out just to have a bit of an explore and to look at how do you find the perfect stealth camp spot. Many people wonder how I find where I camp. So hopefully this might help you gain a bit of confidence to go out on your first stealth camp in 2022. The first thing I do is try and find somewhere where there's no people. I mean look at this here. You can see there's absolutely nobody for miles and that's a good place for a stealth camp isn't it? Because if there are no people to see you then there's less likelihood that you will be seen. Some things to look for are hedges, bushes, woodlands, maybe high fences, any obstacles that you could set up camp and basically hide behind. One good tip too is to avoid busy car parking areas or say country parks. So many people who drive, get the dog out, walk a mile, go back to the car and you want to be at least I would say probably three miles from the nearest car park. If you're three miles from a car park very few people will walk three miles there and three miles back. You have to hike usually to find the best stealth camping places because you'll need to park up somewhere where you can leave your car safely. I try and leave my car if I'm going in the car maybe in a village or somewhere where it can be obscured. I don't leave it sort of in the middle of nowhere if I can help it because that can sort of give away my location. So I try and leave the car with other cars. quite a long way across fields and here I am now I found like a deserted beach and who would believe it sand mud flats for miles this is a nice spot for a stealth camp too but I've only found this spot because I came out for a walk I've walked probably a couple of hours to get here this place is really good because there's literally nobody around one or two walkers but very few and you can find uh, stealth camping spots. Like I said, just by doing a bit of uh, preparation, mainly walks, um, you can get an audience survey map as well to have a look around, check out the area. Uh, some people use Google Earth as well. What I found that uh, Google Earth doesn't really show you, it might give you a rough idea, but until you get to the ground itself, there's so many other factors to consider, um, like how busy it is and so it's probably better just to go and check it out for yourself and then you know that you've got a good spot. The thing is when you do go looking for stealth camps you'll be amazed at how many there are. You know it seems to me that a lot of people think there are no spaces to camp but there are so many if you just follow the basic rules which is turn up late and leave very early uh, obviously leave no trace, stay hidden. It's something about making a plan to do something. Think I'm gonna go and camp there one day. Even if you don't do it right now, but you've got it ready for when you have the time. I think planning an adventure, you know, that's part of the thrill of going on an adventure. Um, get some, you know, reasonable kit that you can get. Try and make it as comfortable as you can. Test that in different places before you go. In your garden is the first thing. Um, do your first stealth camp in your garden, that would be my advice. So here's to lots more stealth camps in 2022. Lots more adventures, new places, new places to explore, new friends. And uh, let's make life more exciting. Uh, hopefully we'll grow this year, learning new things. And we'll have more memories to share. Uh, so cheers. We really appreciate you watching and uh, I hope hopefully uh, you'll get out soon. Let me know how you get on. Ah, you can't beat it just sitting out on a beach on the 1st of January.
self camp look like? Well, basically it depends how you're camping, doesn't it? If you're camping in a tent, obviously you want flat ground, so you're going to be comfortable. Um, if you've got uh, a bivy as well, you want flat ground, but again, you probably don't need as much space. So as long as it's hidden in a bivy and no one's going to trip over you, uh, it should be fine. And then uh, in a hammock, obviously, you need to be in a woodland um, and the ground isn't so important. But obviously, you need to find the right spacing between trees, which is not that hard, usually four or five meters. The perfect uh, stealth camp for me is hidden, where no one's going to walk past at night, where nobody knows I'm there, where I'm not going to be disturbed, um, where I'm out of the way from any potential uh, hazards like motocross riders in the night or anything like that, so that if anyone did come through, they wouldn't see me. When you go on a stealth camp, obviously don't cause any nuisance to anybody else. Just be quiet, observe nature, and leave any mess. And also don't give away stealth camp locations on social media because that quiet spot will no longer become a quiet spot. So I don't give away all the details of my stealth camps. I don't return to the same stealth camping place very often, if at all, that that means that I'm not going to be upsetting anybody because I'm literally there maybe once and I'm gone. I avoid places where it says, you know, private property and where there's obviously some concerns about people uh, being in certain locations. So I avoid those and I go for the ones where nobody really knows you're there and there's nobody who's really going to get too upset anyway. And I've never been caught, and that's the golden rule. And I believe if you follow the basic principles, you really will never be caught. I've never been disturbed while stealth camping only once by a dog very early in the morning. But the dog owner still didn't know I was there, thankfully. It's also probably best to go solo if you're stealth camping. Because if there's only one of you, it's less likely you're going to make noise and less likely you're going to be seen. And also you can fit into smaller spaces. So that will be my tips on how to find the perfect stealth camping spot. There's loads more. Uh, you really learn by experience. So maybe if you've got any good tips, put them in the comments, share them with everybody. Uh, as to what you have found helpful to find the best stealth camp camping places. Um, there's no shortage. It's just a matter of learning the skills really and having the right equipment to go and camp there comfortably. And uh, I've got other videos with other stealth camping tips. You want to check those out. I'll put that on the screen now. Um, the do's and don'ts of stealth camping. And uh, I've also got lots of stealth camping videos where you can see some of the places which I chose uh, as stealth camping spots. So you can see the sort of thing that I look for. Uh, please put in the comments if you've got other advice. Well, I hope this has given you some ideas. And I hope it helps you get out this year. So thanks for watching this one. I'll be out on a stealth camp soon. And I look forward to sharing that with you then. So until then, bye for now and thanks for watching.